Alrighty guys, we're back to more episodes of Big Game Hunter 2012. Of course, last time we did the day one through three with at Montana. Today we'll be doing, I don't know if we will do the entire Mexico part, but it depends how long day one and day two are of Mexico. So, let's see. Jordan Hathcock always reminded me of a character from an adventure novel. A Texas oilman with a lifelong passion for big game hunting. He put up the quarter million dollar prize money out of his own pocket. He said it was a small price to pay to hunt alongside some of the best hunters on the planet. Mr. Hathcock had a flair for the dramatic, but he wasn't wrong about the level of talent on display at this year's tournament. One problem by shooting in the heart. Shot two of them. Ah, that's pretty good. Ah, dang it. 
had to reload. Oh, I need one more to shoot. Maybe I have one more shot to get him. Alright, I got them. I got foxes done, I just need to get birds. Yeah, birds. No birds at all. Shoot. Power for more than 110 meters. Oh. And I am so happy I got my. Okay, now I want. Second one. Ah, oh, shoot. If I would have got that last one, I would have got ahead of him. That's okay. So far, we're good to do day three so far. So, we day two, though. Hathcock calls this desert bandit country. It's no wonder old Pancho Villa built his hideouts in these canyons. In the summer, temperatures hit 120 degrees in the shade. It's a great place to hunt, but I wouldn't want to live here. <laughs> I agree on one. I would never like want to live out in the desert. One, rattlesnakes, because, don't get me near snakes. Two, it's going to be, like, hot. And it's like, who knows, like, how hard, because it's going to be hard to find water out there, too. Afternoon, gentlemen. Thought you all might like to know that Monsieur Matisse has stolen the point lead with some rather impressive long-range shooting. Say what the heck? Oh great, we got a sneak. that Alright, I know 
we go. Oh, shoot, there's a hero right there. Oh my god, go, go. So the thing is right... Okay, so it's right over there. Oh, I made it through. Thank God. Okay, so I gotta shoot. Guys, so I gotta shoot the older one. Okay. Old. Oh, this one is. Right, okay, it's this one's adult. There we go. Scared me at first. Not the mule deer by shooting its spine. Select the precision to fire from. Choose carefully. Its location presents advantages and disadvantages. Time to do day three. Oh yeah, we'll do day three. Uh, it's not like one of these were like long. A dust storm south of the Rio Grande can peel a man's skin like a potato. I found shelter in a deep arroyo and waited for the storm to pass. As soon as the air was clear, the hunt began again in earnest. Even the 250 points shooting line. Great. I said that we have a mountain lion with us. 250, okay. That one's a 50. Cougar, my, it's my carcass. 
Ah, oh, thanks. Come on. I hit a cactus. Oh my god. Oh, I can go down. Wonder why I can shoot it. More than 220 meters. I thought I missed him there for a few seconds. Phew. Of course, I gotta go down this way. Well, the American bison by shooting with it. Shoot. With one single shot. Mr. Hancock, you there? What can I do for you, John? I found some boot prints, sir. Looks like somebody's been hiking through my shooting zone. Recent, too. Probably just some local ranchero out rounding up strays. I wouldn't pay any mind to it. Copy that. Am I going the right way? Oh, yeah, I am going the right way. Who is that up there? What the heck do you think you're doing shooting into my zone? That was my shot. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Now, I admire your competitive spirit. However, I must ask you to refrain from unsportsmanlike behavior. This brings to a close the Mexican stage of our competition. That's two hunts down and three to go. So far, you boys are putting on one heck of a show. We're wheels up at 0600 tomorrow morning. Don't miss the flight, or you'll be riding the bus back to our side of the border. All right, well, that will be the end of the video, so thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, tomorrow we'll be doing the Texas map, probably through the entire day one through three, probably. So, bye.